How do I play the Xbox One S, PlayStation 4, and Nintendo Switch all on one monitor on my PC? Well, I'm gonna tell you how. Hello guys, why you? David Apraka here from twitch.tv slash David Apraka. Please follow me below, I appreciate it. I stream almost daily. And well, actually, all of it happens right behind me on my beautiful custom-built gaming PC. I love this thing. But uh, yeah, just please ignore that cable right there. That's temporary. That's going to the TV, as you can see right there. That will be fixed very soon. Anyway, last week I uploaded a video detailing the process of how I stream my consoles via an HDMI switch and my game capture HD, going to the monitor, then using my Samsung TV as a secondary display, blah, blah, blah. You can watch all of that right below. However, there's one thing I didn't really focus on too much in that video, and that's my HDMI switch. My 4K, four port HDMI switch. Yes, the switch I'm using actually supports 4K. Do I need 4K at the moment? Clearly no, but hey, I'm future-proofing myself. All right, so anyway, today's video, I'm going to briefly demonstrate how the HDMI switch works, and then possibly you guys can pick one up for yourself. I'll link it right below. However, with that said, I just checked Amazon and the exact model I bought seems to be out of stock. So uh, yeah, if it's in stock by the time this video goes live, I'll update the link. But either way, I will link one for you guys. That's extremely similar. Okay, so as I explained last week, my HDMI switch is hooked up to my Game Capture HD, but I never really showed you how it works switching between inputs. So right now, I have my Xbox One S going through the HDMI switch into the Game Capture HD and into my monitor. But what if I turn on my PlayStation 4? Check this out. The HDMI switch will automatically switch, hence why it's called an HDMI switch, to that input. Give it a second, PS4 is starting up, and there you have it. The PlayStation 4 is on screen. How cool is that? And yes, I realize HDMI switches are nothing new, but when you put everything on one gaming setup that coincides with a gaming PC, for me, that just changes everything, and that's exactly why I'm making this video, to make your life easier, uh, because I like things that just work. I just don't like overly complicated processes. I like seamless uh, transitions from device to device. So, there you go, the PlayStation 4. And as you can see, it's working beautifully. Okay. What about the Nintendo Switch? Well, let's turn that on. Sometimes it turns on via the Pro Controller, sometimes it doesn't. That's not up to the Switch. The, you know, the HDMI Switch, that's up to the Switch console. And there you go, it's turning on. We got a green light, give it a second. And boom. And uh, yeah, as you can probably tell, the Nintendo Switch is the fastest console to boot. So that's really cool. But what if I wanted to go back to a console that's already on. Well, thankfully, the Switch I went with includes a wireless remote. By the way, isn't it funny how in like Amazon descriptions and just item descriptions in general, they say wireless remotes? When is the last time you used a wired remote? Seriously, I'm curious. Let me know right below in the comments. So here we go. Input one should be Xbox One. Give it a second. Boom. Input two should be PlayStation 4. There you go. And input three should be Nintendo Switch. How cool is that, guys? How cool is that? And guys, let me just tell you, this seamless transition from device to device is a godsend when streaming. You can instantly switch between consoles for your Twitch viewers, your YouTube viewers, or even your Facebook Live viewers. It is an incredible process that just works. So I encourage you, Pick up that HDMI switch right below. You will not regret your purchase. And uh, yes, you may have noticed in the beginning of this video, I said I went with a four port switch. Currently, I don't have anything on four, hence why it will not let me switch. Yes, I'm actually pressing input four. And that was done for a reason. If I ever want to plug in something that's not always on top of my desk, I can bust it out, such as this, the SNES Classic, plug in via HDMI, and boom, I am good to go. Guys, I was serious when I said, this is easily my best setup yet. And of course, it's not done yet. As I said, that cable needs to be fixed. I need to put some things on the wall. I need to set up my LED lighting underneath the desk. It's gonna look really cool. But uh, yeah, for today, I just wanted to focus on the HDMI switch. So guys, there you have it. There is 
my brief description on the Switch and how it works. Link on Amazon right below. Treat yourself. I spent like $25-ish. Not that bad. And guys, let me tell you this. There are much more expensive HDMI switches on Amazon, but don't be fooled. There's nothing wrong with going with a cheap HDMI switch as long as it works great. And I got to say, for me, it's been perfect. So guys, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot. And I'll see you next time. Peace.